Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you another G.I. Joe. This time it is... It is Zorana. A bad guy. Yes. <laughs> she is Cobra. She is Cobra and these figures are made by Hasbro. She's definitely got a lot of pink going on there. Yes. Um, I can't tell. Is that other hair that she has? Yeah, there? I think it's a different hair sculpt. Yeah, and um, different other weapons there, and it looks like some kind of backpack of sorts to maybe store some stuff in. Yeah, looks um, like she's got some pretty off the wall. Yeah, weapons looks like, almost like a chainsaw or some yeah. kind of bus saw. Um, and let's take a look at the side and the back. So, whoa, cool artwork on the side. Yeah. That's really cool. Looks like um, it could be out of a comic book. Yes, it does. And then there's the picture of all the Cobra um, guys, well, you know, a lot of them on the back. That's really cool because we're used to seeing the G.I. Joe ones. Yeah. And uh, getting a look at those ones. So, awesome. And then there uh, she is, number 48. Number 48. Is that a different picture? Because I feel like it's... I'm not sure. I know they keep adding characters, but I don't see her. So I don't, I don't remember them being in the center. I don't remember that going on. But maybe it is, and maybe I just wasn't paying attention. But um, really cool how they include all, um, a lot of the characters on the yeah. back. So that's awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and get Zorana out of her box and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. All right. So there's Zorana out of her box. Yes. And um, she's got all of her um, weapons on her, uh, but she doesn't carry her wig. Yeah. <laughs> her extra she have hair. A wig pouch. So um, it kind of looks like her brain, but um, anyway, that just fits. You just her other hair just kind of pops off, and you just kind of put that hair on. And I guess it's part of the disguise you were saying. Yeah, I think That's it's part like of the uh, being yeah. all pink and not any yellow or anyway, anything uh, any of this extra color, this peach involved as well. So let me show you her facial sculpt. She does look rather angry. She's like, "Are you making fun of my hair? No, I like your hair." But she still won't focus. There she goes. All right. Look at that. Look at this angry face. She's got like the spikes on her um, shirt there going down there. And she's got like a zipper. And then a zipper on that side um, as well. She's got layers. Looks like right here. Almost like an armadillo. Yeah. Like layers. shoulder armor. Yeah. And then um, black um, armor or arm guard right here. Um, goes all the way up to her elbow. And then she's got like the fingerless glove. A little bit of brown right here in between there and she's got some more pink going on here um, and on the side I guess that's part of the pattern um, she didn't have a rip in her jeans or anything she doesn't have that uh, like pink skin but uh and then she's got spurs uh -huh. on the back so that's cool uh, here's her backpack it will hold um, her weapon looks a little rusty looks like she didn't need to clean off and then there's this weapon as well. This is the um, the magazine that what fits in there. Uh, the clip. Yeah, it is the clip. I don't remember if it came. Yeah, out I or did not. it. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah, oh, I put okay. it in there. So it's the, I was looking for the word. Anyway, it's the clip that fits in there. And she's got the little in case she needs to make a pizza. Yeah. And she can. <laughs> she doesn't have to drop her weapon to cut her pizza. So, very cool. And she's got like the, almost like a seatbelt strap going off, holding her shirt. No, oh, that's her holding her weapons on as well. I think for the backpack. Um, and then, um, let's see. She's got some protection for her knees right here. Um, almost like a catcher. Come up and protect yeah. her knees. And then um, the cowboy boots is what it looks like. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, it does look like cowboy boots, especially with the spurs. Yeah. And then she's got a, a chain right here. Going from one side of her belt to the other. I hope you can see it. And then she got a weapon here as well. So there you have it. She looks like she, yeah, she also has on earrings. So and she is angry. Look at her cheese face. Yes. <laughs> All right. You want to show off her articulation? Okay. So let's take a look. So she's going to have, um, if you look, she actually has two points at the head. One at the base of the head and then another at the base of the neck. So that will allow her to be able to look down more. Whoops, her hair does come off. Um, or look up. Um, she has the, um, I'm glad that they gave her the double butterfly sh shoulders. So that way she has 
greater articulation at the shoulders um, and she does you know it will extend and rotate um, she has the bicep swivel the double elbows which if I can get this here let me try this one with the um, she has the double elbows and the dual wrists um, now one thing I am a little disappointed with this figure um, is it seems that the um, the arm I don't know if it's how the the socket is made or what because I've I haven't seen any other you know it's the only one we have so but for some reason on this figure the uh, the arms seem to want to come off so be careful with them when you're posing and stuff um, I'm not sure if there's a way to fix that but it is seems to be an issue she has two points um, in the torso one at the waist and then one at the mid torso and so she can um, crunch forward rear back and of course side to side so good range of motion there just like most of the Joe figures she has uh, great articulation at the hips. She has the drop hips, so it'll give them greater range of motion. You just have to kind of put them back when you're done with the pose. Um, she has the the thigh swivel, the double knees, um, and it does have the. It's a little. Um, it's way up there because it's at the top of the boot, which is most of the way up her leg, but. So she does have the top of the boot or uh, mid calf um, articulation, and then finally the ankle, and the ankle will roll as well as pivoting to allow her to stay flat-footed. So very cool adding Zorana to our GI Joe Classifieds collection. All right, so there's one last look at Zorana. And she looks pretty cool uh, for a villain anyways. Yes. Got a lot of pink going on. I really like her hair. All right. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.